Okay, so the first one. Five on the E, five on the B, eight bend full steps, we're bending from there to there. C to D. Um, and as far as the rhythm goes, you can either take this straight as one and two, three, four, yeah, one and two and three and four and, or you can take the shuffle beat, one knee, uh, so one triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, yeah, which would actually be a one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, so, all right, taking it straight, you would do, uh, let's see, So one and two and three and four and if you shuffle beat one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So Okay, so for the second one. We start on eight of the E string, five, B string eight, B string five, full bend on seven, and then five. So both uh, full bend seven on G, and then we end on five on the G. So again, we can take that straight where it would be. One and two and three and four, um, which would sound like right, um, which may have application if it's faster. Right. All right, or we can do the shuffle beat version of it. So again, that turns into one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. the third one. We have a bend on seven of the G string. Full bend. So we're bending from here to there. And then five on the B, five on the E, eight on the B, five on the B, and then we bend eight to ten, right? It's a full bend. So, as always, we can take it straight, or we can shuffle. If we take it straight, it would be a seven and, let's see, seven's the bend, right? Uh, one and two and three and four and, so. Yeah. With a little bit more feeling than that, but that's just the mechanic straight ahead, right? Or we can shuffle beat it again. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. All right, <clears throat> and for the fourth one, uh, we have, again, a full step bend on G. So we're bending from there to there, right? Um, then it's 5, 8 on the B string. Use whatever fingers are best for you. Um, and then a bend, we do that twice, right? Then another 7 bend, and we end on 5 on the G string. This is actually two triplets in a row, and then it's a three, four time, two triplets in a row, and then uh, uh, two eighth notes. So this one I would probably not play as a swing. It would probably just be triple, triple, three, and, right? So one triplet, two triplet, three, and.
but it's a full band, right? Here we go. Freddie King. Freddie King. I love Freddie King. It's a little complicated rhythm-wise, okay? Um, we don't need to be overly concerned with that. However, if you're going to be 100% accurate to what the rhythm is, we're doing kind of 16th notes to triplets to 8th notes. Which for him, I'm sure, is all a feel type of thing. So that's his unique way of playing. But they're trying to map this out so that it sounds like his unique way of playing, which apparently is a little complex. So anyway, this winds up being one E and a two, a one E and a triple, and bum 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 and a ba da bum 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 Do that one more time. <laughs> if I can do it right. All right, I have one more little riff for you. Um, which centers around G7, F sharp 7, F7, G. Alright. I'm going to start on 7 on the uh, G string, and 7 on the E string. So 7, uh, 7 G, 7 E, 7, 6 G, 6 E. 6G, 5G, uh, 5E, 5, then you slide down one more to 4, and then plant this finger across the E string, the B and E string, so that you hit 4, 3, 3 as a chord. Okay? You want to see my pick, then it's... It's not going to be a heck of a lot faster than that for this type of thing, I would think. So probably at the most. So another fun little one. I know you like those kind of turnarounds, so have fun with that too. All right, Slither. So we're in drop D, right? And he's playing after they do the that first part of the intro that floats around with uh, the bass playing something and the guitar is kind of doing a, um, an octave thing back and forth, which we can go over on Saturday if you like. Um, then it breaks into the the riff, all right? And the riff is zero three four zero um, six seven zero ten zero. Six, seven, zero, five, zero, three, four. So you wind up picking back and forth while you're doing this. Let's see, one and two and three and four. And it's one, one and two and three and four. And then it kind of starts to feel like it's not that just because of the placements of the the placement of the accents or the placement of the notes. I guess it's not accents so much, but the placement of the notes in here doesn't feel quite so straightforward because they're not all on numbers and not all on downbeats. So anyway, going through it slowly here. Alright. Zero three. Okay, one more time. Alright. 
and that's zero three four zero six seven zero ten zero six seven zero five zero three four. All right. When they put that up to speed, it's um. Next up with Slither is after they do the um, uh, the, in the intro that way, the, the chords, right? The <clears throat> it goes from being chords to just single notes on the low D string. So it's all down here. But it's the same pattern. It's exactly the same pattern. Instead of chords now, just the one string. Same thing, um, same thing, again that we were doing before. Um, there are some changes that we can discuss if you like on Saturday, but that's about it. It's that same thing again. So um, zero three four zero six seven zero ten zero six seven zero five zero three four, and I'm just picking back and forth the whole time. Die young. Allison James. All right. We die young. Drop D flat. The notes we are we're doing chords. So, yeah. Two two. Most of the time, he just hits the open. Just the open D. It's not. It's not both. Just the open D. So, open D. Two two. Three three, and five five, which bends half a step. So, which is why you see a lot of videos where there you'll see people going back and forth like this. It's a bend because it's Alice in Chains, and they like that grungy, uh, bendy, dirty sound. So anyway. The rhythm of it is almost completely eighth notes. So it's almost 100% straightforward. Okay. Um, the part you're having trouble with is that last section, right? So the beginning. Two zero zero five zero three zero zero three zero zero three zero three five two zero zero five zero three zero zero three zero five three zero okay um so where you get messed up is that last one where we do the same that Two zero zero mm, mm, bum bum is the same. Then it's three zero five bend back three zero. All right. So second half of that again is two zero zero five bend zero three zero zero three zero five bend five three zero okay without me talking through it <clears throat> it sounds like this slowly okay so that whole thing together Okay. Now, 
I've kept my picking hand up here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to back it up a bit. All right. I'm going to do it again. Speed, 